quick tap from Inert. Kirsten in support. They keep it with the forwards. Knocking on the door, accident. Just short. The question being posed here by the Tigers is whether that was knocked forward over the line. He's ended up on the line and just making sure it's not double movement, it's all in one. So your so uncle is try, yeah. yeah. Okay, just hold that. Is there contact with the it's line there, there or is he just short? Yep, yeah. I've got no reason to overrule you, Jack, to go with your on field. <laughs> try is awarded. Nasty clash there. There's going to be a closer inspection on this. Right shoulder to head, dominant tackle, Tom. Always going forward uh, on a static player. And it's direct contact with his shoulder to his head. Yeah, direct card. Yeah. I don't think you can have too many complaints about it, especially with all of the warnings that will be being put out at the moment. It's just 7-0, in spite of this dominance, both in territory and possession, but Exeter continually knocking at the door, and good hands there, another fantastic offload into the hands of Sam Simmons this time from Dave Hughes. That's a couple he's had, Simmons, they've got numbers here, yeah. lovely dummy, a flirt, he will stroll in for try number two, it's been coming, and the Chiefs put a seal on it this time. The ball released to Devoto. Nice ball there to Joe Simmons, good acceleration from him, Cordero, a great pace and a Flaherty, puts his head down, a Flaherty, looks for the handoff, still going, flings it back inside, picked up by Cordero, who's clear and should just about get to the line, held up just short. Off you go. The card is yellow. So Kelly goes into the bin, Leicester down to 13, Ewers driven over the line and has surely scored. A bit of an awkward one, because of the, um, they took it quickly, we haven't actually got any footage of, of, of the grounding. Of it initially going in. Of it, of it of initially going in, so, so you're, go uh, you're going to have to stick with your own field decision. Yeah, no problem, thanks. Simmons looking at Henry. Good hands, a flat, he flings it out to Simmons, who takes it at full tilt up against Liebenberg. Liebenberg stays with him, feeds back inside. Harvey Skinner's there. The try bonus on the half hour. Liebenberg, no change for him. Lavanini picked up and scores. Leicester have their reward. And that is exactly the sort of response that Steve Borthwick will be delighted by. It's clean through, that's legal. And Portley wants the ball. Dummies and cuts back inside and goes over. And the Tigers have a second try before the interval. Dave Ewers carries that ball. Monda. Simmons chips over the top, Sam Simmons juggles it, collects it and scores it. Well, Phillips helps it on its way and it's slightly opened up, good offload there, dummy inside and Scott's away, through and clear and try number three scored by the Tigers. They have the immediate riposte, Maunda. Skinner, good to Ewers, Ewers who has managed to offload brilliantly Great so far today, offload. does so again, and the ball goes to Ollie Woodburn to score in the corner. <laughs> A brilliant try that must have passed through at least 12 or 13 Exeter sets of hands. I think if they come here and be told that they would score four tries here, they would be delighted. Over the go, and it is Charlie Clare who has the bonus point score. Seems the ball just hoisted forwards there by White and then picked up and dancing away here. Liebenberg, Liebenberg going for the corner, reaches and scores. No stopping him from that sort of range. Flung along the line. Tigers fancying this now. Oh, that one goes forward off the hands of Cordero. And that easily could be a yellow card. 
think on first view it's a clear line break opportunity. Yeah. Line break, last guy, isn't it? Which number is it? 15. 15, off you go. Taken by Vermeulen, and he reaches for the line to score. The backs look hungry for the ball, but the forwards continue to rumble towards the line. But Exeter have survived, and they've managed to turn it back over. And that is the final whistle from Jack Makepeace. Final score, 47-31.